Um, okay, really quickly, I'm Holly. I'm also an ex Francis Holland girl, but the one with the red jeans on. <laughs> Same thing. Um, I'm a singer, and I'm a friend, and I'm a shop assistant, and I'm a dinner lady, and I'm a dog walker, um, and a writer, and a waitress, and all sorts of things. Um, like most middle class little girls, I was taken to dance and piano lessons from a young age, but I wasn't from a musical background. Both my parents are completely tone deaf, so music was like a wonderful after school activity, but definitely not a career path. Um, and my mum would often take me to see West End musicals and I'd leave with this like burning desire to be on stage and I'd tell her that and she was just like, Holly, it's a really hard life. <laughs> Which is what she still says to me all the time. Um, and so I was really pushed to pursue a backup plan and I went to study languages so that I'd have skills that I could make money from. Um, Ha, ha, ha. I don't use those skills at all. But, um, but the advice was amazing for my singing um, because academic study gave me a much deeper understanding of music as something not only beautiful but culturally and socially and politically powerful. Um, but academic isolation, like a library cabin fever, also convinced me that I didn't want to be an observer, I wanted to be an active practitioner. I wanted to be the one that people were writing about, not writing about other people who were making music. So instead of working my way up the career ladder, I moved to Cuba and I made music there. And um, since then I've played in festivals all, all around the Caribbean, I've got my own band, I've toured Europe with lots of like recognised artists of various genres. Um, and so very occasionally it feels really glamorous and I post pictures on my Instagram feed of airports and palm trees. Um, but most of the time it's really unglamorous and I really am a dinner lady in a nursery school and I live hand to mouth but every day I wake up and I know that I'm totally following my passion. And um, even though it's hard, it's totally worth it. And um, so my message to you is to follow yours and to just go out and live and love and cry and do all of those things until you find that thing that makes you just like burn inside and then go and follow that and do that. Um, my old job teacher said to me once that the hardest thing about being, being a musician is telling people that's what you do because when you tell someone that you're a musician they go, oh yeah, but what do you really do? <laughs> Um, so now, it's taken me a long time, but now people ask what I do, I say I'm Holly and I'm a singer, and then I just leave it at that.